time to get out and play. Amsoil delivers the ultimate protection for your vehicles and equipment. Fast, free shipping right to your door. Spend $100 and shipping is on us. Order now at amsoil.com. Right, guys we got greg's bug back in here and it's about 1500 miles on it and ready to do the uh, old change on here from this new motor build so um what uh greg decided to go with um is the uh, amsoil uh diesel oil now this is the the four times more protection oil and that's four times more than what is required uh by the rating on there so um, excellent stuff. Um, if y'all been watching, you can see that uh, High Reds is now a independent dealer for uh, for Amsoil. So if you'll check the links in the description, you see all the products that uh, that uh, you can get through Amsoil and pretty amazing stuff. But this stuff should be really good. And this is the heavy duty perfect protection. So I mean, it's going to be really good oil for this 1030. Uh, this would normally be a 30 weight oil. The 1030 is going to allow it to, to crank up and flow as quick as it can um and and be really good so this should be perfect for for this application so uh, we're gonna get started it's the cleanest bug engine bottom you've ever seen and uh Oil's all draining out now. So this is uh, this is the part after every single engine build that I've ever done that's always kind of a uh, nail biter for me because this is going to be a good indication of the health of the engine. Uh, it's also the part that actually uh, you get the most wear on an, on an engine when it's brand new. Everything's breaking in, so you got to think too, especially on an air cooled V dub engine. Oil temps are higher first of all. Second of all. These camshafts in these cars are flat tappet, they're not rollers, so you've got metal on metal uh, riding together. Uh, and also, they are not hydraulic lift camshafts. They are solid lift. So oil is very critical. Volkswagen believed in changing the oil frequently and uh, changing filters frequently. Even though these cars really didn't even come with an oil filter, they had a little filter screen. on the pickup. Yeah, it was, it was a screen. Yeah. Uh, and of course, this one's been modified to take the large uh, Ford style filter. Uh, it is a Wix 51515. You can actually buy the oil filter adapter kit off of Amazon and it's like 50 bucks and it just bolts right there on the oil pump. You'll see me changing that in a second. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so it sounds like it's pretty much drained out now and uh, that'll work. And then we did warm up the engine a little bit. Um, saw us pulling it in here. You wanna make it not crazy hot, but to warm it up and let everything flow out real nice. So uh, we're gonna go to the next step. cut it open just to pour it out and you can actually see some of the metal here as we were talking about as it runs off it looks like a, a like a dark gun metal a little bit and there's actually not much in there so it's kind of hard to, to see but um if you can yeah some of that that's pouring out right there if you can you can kind of see yeah there you go yeah there you go see it's got a little metallic look to it but look how fine that is though that's yeah. not a heavy metallic at all so but the filter has done a fantastic job at catching it yeah, so I would say uh, honestly too, this little bitty tiny. That's just break in. That's break that's, in. That's, yeah, that's nothing. yeah. Well, and something else I'll tell you that I added a lot of to this thing, zinc. 
It's also the reason why I chose the 10W30 diesel oil, zinc, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so, this, I, and I'm, again, I'm almost positive that this is a camshaft break-in. Oh yeah. I'm almost completely positive that that is camshaft break-in. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not worried about that at all. What you're worried about are big chunks, which would be in these pleats. Yeah. And it looks really clean. Looks really clean. Mm -hmm. There's a couple little contaminants right there, but that's what you use a filter for, right? Yeah. Well, and you built the engine, and you know stuff gets in there. Stuff that's in the exactly. in in the you know in the old oil cap that's on here. I mean, it could be anything. Moisture buildup. Yes. You know, you're gonna have. You've got brand new gaskets in there. You've got new oil in there. You got a new filter in there. You've got you know all new. You got rubber pieces and you got all kinds of stuff that. Well, what's funny? Contaminate. What's funny too is, is I guarantee you somebody's gonna get on there and comment. Oh, there's too much metal. That's bad. This, that, and the other. One, it ain't big chunks like I said. But two, you know how many pounds of oil pressure this thing holds at idle? Yeah. How much does it hold? It's like sixty pounds. Sixty man. pounds. Yeah, I mean it's. <laughs> it's a bunch. Yeah, which is plenty, plenty enough to, to tell me right off the rip this engine is not hurt at all. You no, know, I mean, you, well, you could tell that. I mean, yeah. everything else was completely clean, and the filter did exactly what it was supposed to do. That's what you wanted to do. I mean, there was nothing in the oil when it came out, and then we took this apart, and uh, you, you can tell that that's extremely fine stuff. I mean, that's literally the... I mean, it, and if this was a roller setup, we probably wouldn't if want this, to see very if much this was metal. A roller setup, that would, yeah, that would be much. bad. I would be pulling the motor yeah, but but this isn't a roller. I mean, this is all metal on metal, clanging together most of the time. You got Earl. Oh yeah. <laughs> 